All right, friends, let's try this again. I think you can see me. You might have to rejoin the event. Sorry about that. Still kind of, I've never used Facebook Live before. Still getting used to it. Just go ahead and rejoin. All right. Here we go. Got some good books. All right, here we go. All right. All right, now we're good. I'm glad you guys figured this out. It's a learning curve for me. I uh, was using the wrong web browser. It worked the other day, but it didn't today, so who knows. All right, friends. I hope there's a few more that join. Hey, Preston. Hey, Claire. Hey, Thomas, kids. Hey, Sam. Glad y'all could be here. We got two cool books today, brand new books. They're going to be in the children's library um, when we get back up and running again, and you guys can check them out and read them at home if you want. Hope everyone is not going stir crazy. It looks like the rain has lit up for today, so that's good. Maybe you can get outside, and we've been doing puddle jumping at our house. Maybe you can do some puddle jumping at your house. It's a good day for that. And we're gonna give a few more minutes. Again, sorry I was a bit Late and got a little bit flustered, discovered I had the wrong web browser. But now I'm good to go. So hopefully next week we'll be able to start right at 10. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Our first book I'm gonna read is called Brian the Brave. I'm gonna scoot back just a little bit so y'all can see it. And this book is, it's about some sheep and it's about a time when they had to be brave and join together, so you'll see. One sunny afternoon, Brian was nibbling grass and minding his own business when along came another sheep. Hello, the sheep said. My name is Rose. Hello, said Brian. Let's be friends. All right, said Rose and they chased each other round and round the field and over the little hill until along came another sheep. Hello, the sheep said. My name is Stanley. Hello, said Brian. Let's be friends. But Stanley said, I only like sheep with black wool. Plain white wool is ugly. I am just going to play with Rose. So Stanley and Rose chased each other round and round the field over the little hill. That made Brian very sad. Along came another sheep and another. Hello, the sheep said together. We're Tracy and Frank. Hello, said Brian, let's all be friends. But Tracy and Frank said, we only like sheep with curly horns. 
Sheep without horns are ugly. Well, Brian had curly horns, so that was all right. And so did Rose, but Stanley didn't. So the other sheep chased each other round and round the field over the little hill. And that left Stanley very sad. Yeah. It's so sad. And along came another sheep and another and another. Hello, they said. We're Cassidy, Ernest, and Lou. Hello, said Brian. Let's all be friends. But Cassidy, Ernest, and Lou said, we don't like sheep with plain white wool or boring black wool. We don't like sheep with curly horns. We only like... But Brian had had enough. Stop! We should all play together, he told them, because we are all still sheep. The sheep were quiet. They looked around. Then they started talking to one another. Bunga wunga bin, cheered Brian. This is more like it. But then, let's see what happens next. Rose gave Brian a look. Bunga what, she asked. That's not a word, cried Tracy and Frank. You talk funny, said Cassidy, Ernest, and Lou. Let's go, everyone, said Stanley. Who should have known better? And off they all went to chase each other, round and round the field and over the little hill, without Brian. That made Brian very, very, very sad. He walked away. He looked at his white wool. He looked at his curly horns. What's wrong with Bungalungabim? He wondered. Then he walked across a field, up a big hill, and into a forest where he bumped into. I think he's going to bump into. Let's see. <gasps> Whoa! That'd be scary, wouldn't it? Brian ran out of the forest, down the hill, across the field, and past the lake. Woof, woof, woof! He had to warn the others. But it was too late. The sheep ran this way. The sheep ran that way. The wolf ran after them. Things were looking bad until... That looks grim for those sheep, doesn't it? Brian shouted, Sheep! Friends! We can beat this wolf together. Attack! Black sheep bump! Spotted sleep sheep jump! Curly horns ram! No horns slam! And the wolf ran away and was never seen again. Wow, that's some good cooperation. Hooray, cheered the sheep. We did it together. Bunga wunga bam, Brian said. Just a minute. Some of you say ba. Some of you say meh, meh, meh. One of you says ba, ka, ram, ba. All of us now say bungalungabam. And we know that's just fine. And the sheep chased each other round and round the field over the little hill until it was time to sleep. So I really like that book because it's kind of like what we're doing today. We have to be brave even though we can't be with our friends and with our families that we want to be with, but we can all stay in our homes, be isolated so that we can help other people and help our, our workers. We can all do it together. If you want to do an activity today, 
you could design a page with sheep that are all different and see how many different types of sheep you could make. You could even, if you had cotton balls at home, you could even put cotton balls on some and you could color some purple, you could paint some. You could just do whatever you wanted and make you a whole sheep scene like the last one where they were all playing together. Here, I'll show you again to get your, your creative juices flowing. They have all different colors and all different designs. So if that's something you want to do today or tomorrow, that would be a neat thing to do. You can even send me a, a picture with your completed, completed work. The other book I have for you today is called Simon and the Big Bad Angry Beast. And this is, a, this is a really good one. I really like this one, too. All right. Here we go. The first time Simon got mad, it was after he had caused a lot of mischief. His father had punished him, and Simon was angry with the whole world. He was so mad that he had a big temper tantrum. I know I've had temper tantrums before. In his room, where his father had sent him, Simon banged noisily on the door. Suddenly, he discovered that a big ram was pounding the door along with him. Whoa, do you see that ram? Wow. It was great, marvelous, it was magical to have a ram that charged after anything that made Simon mad. If Simon's father asked him for something, bam, the animals knocked him down. Whoa. The second time Simon got really mad, he had just lost a game and didn't think it was fair. Suddenly, to his absolute amazement, he saw that his ram had transformed into an alligator. It was great, it was marvelous, it was magical to have a not so nice alligator that snapped at people with his teeth when Simon wasn't happy. The third time he got very angry, it was because his mother had told him no. Suddenly, his alligator transformed into a terrifying lion. It was great. It was marvelous. It was magical to have a great African lion by his side. No one dared refuse him anything. The fourth time Simon got angry, he flew into a rage because he had been forced to eat all of his soup. He saw that his big lion had become an enormous rhinoceros. Whoa, that's a scary rhinoceros. They get scarier and scarier each time, don't they? It was great, it was marvelous, it was magical to have a fearsome rhinoceros at his service. Everyone ran away so soon as he sat down at the dinner table. I think I would run away too to have a rhinoceros at my dinner table. That would be really scary. Then one day, Simon's anger burst out without a reason. It was so big and so dreadful that his rhino changed into a frightening dragon. Whoa. It was great, it was marvelous, it was magical to have a dragon that spit flames and sent everyone running. They began calling him Simon the Terrible. That is a lot of anger right there, isn't it? But then he realized that his parents, his pals, his best friends, none of them wanted to play with him anymore. 
Suddenly, he felt quite lonely. Aww. He has no one to play with. Because he was so angry and yelled at him. It was not so great, not so marvelous, not so magical to always have such anger. He would have preferred to get a hug from his dad or a kiss from his mom to play with his friends like before. He didn't know what to do to get rid of his anger. He tried shouting at it to make it go away, but that only brought out worse creatures. Oh, those are super scary. So Simon found a quiet spot to sit down. He closed his eyes and concentrated hard until calm spread through his whole body. After a few moments, he felt as if the dragon had exploded into a thousand butterflies, each one carrying a little piece of his anger away. Look at that dragon. When he did calming work, it went away and turned into beautiful butterflies. <gasps> Look at all those butterflies. It was great, it was marvelous, it was magical to be calm, quiet, and peaceful. Everyone told him that his pretty butterflies were much, much nicer than a horrible dragon. I love that book because sometimes I get angry. Do y'all ever get angry? Sometimes I get angry and I just keep getting madder and madder and madder. So one of the things that you can do today is you can practice mindfulness and the way you do it is you sit real quiet and still and close your eyes you can put your hands on your tummy you can do deep breaths and you can imagine it we call it our house tummy breaths you can feel your tummy getting big and getting small to calm down another thing you can do today is you could get some Play-Doh or some clay and you could actually make some angry monsters or beasts and think, what would my anger look like if it was an animal? Would it be a lion or rhino or dragon or maybe something, an alligator, maybe something even scarier? And you can make that with your Play-Doh and clay. And you can tell your mom or dad or grandparents, whoever you're with about about your angry monster. So those are some of the things that you guys can do today. Thank you so much for joining me. I put the names of the books, um, I think on the website. If not, it's Brian the Brave, is the first book we read, and Simon and the Big Bad Angry Beast. So thanks so much, friends. Um, I will be here next week at 10, and I hope that you can join us. Feel free to share, tell other friends about um, our story time, and I will see you next week. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.